Sure. Okay. Hey everyone, this is Ron Armstrong again from the X-Lite Zoom Room. Um, just recording a quick video on using the Raspberry Pi Imager to image an FPP image onto an SD card. So we're currently here downloading the Raspberry Pi Imager from the raspberrypi.com slash software website. As soon as it comes down, we'll walk through the install process, then image card. And looks like it says about 20 seconds left. Just did a little quick intro there for the video for Excites Gems. We're going to do two for one tonight. How's that, Daryl? <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> <laughs> and looks like it completed. So go ahead and click on that imager icon in your bottom left there, and let's get started on the install. Yeah, go ahead and next. It should be pretty standard here. I love you too. Don't, don't play with that. All right, so now it's launched. So first thing you're gonna do is say choose OS. And then this lists all the way to the bottom and you'll have an option for custom. So we're gonna use custom. And then here we're going to find the one that you just downloaded a moment ago. So it should start like FPP. This is your downloads directory. So no, no, that's you're still in folders. So keep going below folders. You got quite a bit in your downloads, it looks like. We could sort this by um, modified date or something, but now you're getting down into the actual files. So you're in C's, keep going to the F's. That's there this guy right here. FPP huh? 602 pi image dot zip. Yep, select that. That's the image we want and say open. And then choose storage. So this makes sure that the only one you pick here is your actual SD card that you want to write to because this is destructive. So that's a 32 gig SD card. So click that for your storage. Okay. And then click write and it will start writing the image. And it's saying that will be erased and it will start all fresh, say yes. And this will go through and uh, write depending on the speed. I'm not sure why it's trying to open file explorer. So you can just cancel this. If you get this insert this message, just cancel it. And it's in the process of writing. So it's 5%. This will continue to 100% and then it will go uh, to a verifying stage, which will then also go to 100 Okay. It prompted with that window because what it does first, it erases the SD card. And when you have your window set to open external USB storage when card gets inserted, uh, Windows feels that it something got inserted because it just got erased. I just, I just wanna um I I just um, wanna um I just wanna touch him a little bit. Okay, but don't pull him out. Somebody wants some daddy time. She uh, <laughs> she'll be five next month, and at the store here lately, she's been learn. Don't stick that in there. She's been learning how to use the card and stick the chip in the thing. <laughs> so she always wants to play with my cards now. <laughs> What is that? That's for the USB drive. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. It has a hole. Mm -hmm. It cannot really stick it in. <laughs> It looks like a rectangle or a square. It looks like a rectangle. It does. It is a rectangle, but it's black. You know, I don't like black. <laughs> oh, that's a different one. Don't play with that one. It's the other one that I have. Right there, but I'm using it. It 
so is this. Yeah, this this thing operates a lot faster than Bellina did. <laughs> yeah, and it's really dependent on the card too. They have different types of SD cards. They have different write speeds. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the higher write speed of a card you get, it even goes faster yet. So I've got a couple of different cards here, and it's kind um, of that, like, right? that one went too fast. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go so fast, but. It was well, when, this, I uh, when I bought this last year, I bought the kit. It came with everything. It came with that USB adapter. It came with sure. everything. Is that raspberry? Those are good kits to have if you, yeah, that way you have all the little components you need if needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For now, we'll just continue through this verifying phase. Yeah. Just verifying the image against what was wrote to make sure there were no errors with the right and this should go and complete successfully here. So do I hit format disk or cancel? No, no, no it cancel. Nothing else you can do because Windows won't recognize it. So at the end, you usually will get this. We'll go ahead and cancel that and close your file browser here. Yep. Okay, that and close it. Because it writes a format onto the SD card that is a Linux file system and Windows can't read it. So anytime you get done imaging the FPP image, it very well likely will give you those types of messages, which would be expected. So you can just say, okay, you're free to go ahead and remove the SD card. So go ahead. Oh, and so without this image, the Pi won't even operate. That's the operating system for the Pi. Yes, the Pi itself has nothing on it whatsoever. The image okay. is the operating system for the Pi. Yes. So remove this and then yeah. hit continue. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter what you do first. Just go ahead and hit continue. Then you can close the imager. We should be done with it. So your card should now be ready to remove and put into your Pi. 
Okay. So, then I'll just Adeline, please don't do that. You're going to pull some wires. <laughs> come, come on, get from under there. And if cool, I'll go ahead and end this short video real quick on how to image a card. Now you would just put the card in the Raspberry Pi and boot up and then connect to it by one of the tethering methods described in the manual. So I'm going to go ahead and end the recording now. So thanks.